<laughs> he took a babysitting course. That's enough for us. Uh, anyway, <laughs> but it was once tiny. And I fantasized when I was pregnant that I would have what I like to refer to as a magic jazz baby. Now, again, if you've heard this story, then, then you know what a magic jazz baby is. But otherwise, you're going, what on earth is a magic jazz baby? So a magic jazz baby, well, firstly, let me tell you that they're all over New York City. And that's where we lived for many years while, while Josh was in his early life. And uh, basically, it's the kind of baby that just pops out of the womb and, you know, within weeks, mom or dad can put baby on their chest in a little snuggly apparatus, right? The Moby Wrap or whatever your, your carrier of choice may be. And baby just sleeps while mom or dad is playing on stage. <laughs> now, I'm seeing some kids out there, and now I want to ask, Nadia and Dahlia, did you have magic jazz babies? <laughs> so, I mean, to me, this was like a phenomenon, and I thought for sure I'm going to have one. I did not. Josh liked to sing, just like his mom. And so all of this is to say that Ben and I then said, okay, well, let's, let's divide and conquer. Ben was touring a lot. I was touring a lot. And we kept trying to drag Josh with us. And it's like, no, this is not working. So one of us would stay home with the baby while the other would go on tour. And that meant quite a bit of time apart. And I missed my boys terribly when I was on the road. So one night an August night in Niagara-on-the-Lake in Ontario. I played a show, it was a festival, the wine of course was flowing because when in Rome. And, uh, and then I was driving back to my lodgings afterwards, just kind of soaking in the vibe that you give us. There's, there's no replacing it. But then I started to really miss my boys when they were back home in Brooklyn. And it was way too late for contact, so I imagined them in the car with me. I had the radio on, I had the windows cracked open, and there was you know, this beautiful song on the radio, and I imagined the boys singing with me. And it did actually bring them closer to heart and mind. And that's why it took, took on new meaning during that time of which we shall not speak. Because it's all about being close, people closer to you when you can't be with them in the flesh. So this is a song that I'm gonna dedicate to my new friend, Taya's daughter, Ryder, it's called Satellite. Thank you. 